Authentic started way back in 2016. It was more of a pet project uh, and nothing with an intention of uh, incepting the entire company. Mr. Pratik, who is the uh, MD for the parent company, had certain cloud-related business challenges and the tech challenges, which he then conveyed to his son, Mr. Aditya, who is the CEO and co-founder of our organization as of the moment. That is when he started to have a small project running inside the company for the users of the company so that they can enhance the cloud experience and the billing experiences for the parent company progressive. That's how Centralix sort of started. Centralytics is a cloud management platform which helps customers from AWS, uh, Azure and GCP cloud to you know, view and manage their cloud infrastructure, their security and costing, wherein we help customers to have a clear visibility of what their cloud is and how exactly they're using the resources in their entire cloud. And so that you know, they can better utilize those resources and you know, have reduced costs at the same time. We have approximately around 140 plus customer base, Indian and outside. Uh, we have another 200 plus potential prospects which are on the verge of closure. We started with Indian base uh, out here uh, starting in 16, but then we slowly and gradually started to expand ourselves in states in Middle East and uh, somewhere we have an attraction around, around Australia and uh, other parts of the world as well. The main pain points which the customers were actually bringing to us was around the visibility in their bills. Cloud is itself is a very complicated procedure to adopt and the billing inside the cloud is a little trickier. So people want to adopt cloud because of its versatility, scalability and uh, extensibility but then they also want to have the control of the cloud spends. These are the two major major pain points which we have solved using uh, Centralytics and made our customer base much more reliable and confident using the cloud. We were looking for an ITSM solution in the market to transform our uh, customer support teams. We were looking at multiple alternatives at that time. So we used Microsoft Dynamics CRM for our CRM solutions uh, and uh, we used uh, Symfony Summit for our ITSM. Uh, the challenges were uh, pretty much similar in both cases that they were not customizable. The, they were too bulky and too slow. And then we started to scrape around the internet of multiple tools. And somehow we just got to uh, strike upon the YouTube video where Mr. Bembo was actually riding a bicycle. Uh, and he, he was in Dhoti and then he went to a, a shop kind of a thing wherein uh, the lady was selling corn. And that is where it actually inspired us to learn more about Zoho's ecosystem. We really connected as a company to that video and we decided why not let's try out something which is simple and easy to adopt because at one end we had these uh, niche and these world known tools like Dynamics CRM or uh, Symfony Summit or uh, Zendesk but then at the other side we had the entire suite available which is integrated to the entire 70 70 plus services which Zoho provides more of more of the desire of using all the tools it was actually the need of of using the tools across different business units so we need crm for the sales we need a uh, desk for our support system we need projects for our application development team we need an hrms solution which is stable enough and is actually upgrading itself so this entire digital transformation journey started in our head way back in 2020 and that is how we got encouraged and inspired of you know, not purchasing piece by piece, but purchasing the entire suite. So we did the implementation in phases for Soho One. Uh, we started uh, with our ITS and tool that is Soho Test, so that our support teams, you know, support teams can use it. And we set it up as a baseline. The navigation of tool was uh, very easy. Uh, the customizations were easy. I remember we set up our uh, first blueprint, and it was very easy to customize. So were the workflow rules and other automations. Primarily, we use headquarters, so most of our team use headquarters to you know have a better view of what the team is doing, what is the incoming and outgoing, you know, traffic that is right now happening uh, on our desk. Lastly, we use SLAs to have our, you know, uh, service level agreements managed in Zoho Desk. Uh, after we were, you know, finished with automating and, you know, customizing our Zoho Desk for our support teams, then we moved our attention to our sales teams. And then our sales team started using uh, Zoho CRM and we were customizing the tool. Uh, the very first business need was to have CRM in place because without a CRM, our sales team cannot work in a methodical manner. So the first three months pretty much ended up uh, configuring the CRM and it's, uh, and it's the best way. And our internal teams really liked the product. They liked the UI, they liked the uh, you know, customization options. 
uh, and you know it was really easy to use uh, software so we started testing it out and our, all of our sales teams you know got on board it very easily having an integration available between desk and crm has actually helped us in terms of making our sales team enabled around the happiness ratings around the tickets which are being breached by the rsla about around the tickets which are running across per customer base or per the account base so it actually has helped our csm team being on their toes to interact with the customers for any outstanding tickets which is there uh, running and lying down uh, in their respective uh, accounts uh, ecosystem. Giving a proactive sense and, and the confidence to the CSM has actually enabled the customer happiness. So that's how this entire integration has played a beautiful role for us uh, running this entire show. Zoho One is a unified uh, you know, experience for us. Uh, all the applications are very much integrated with each other. But my favorite integration is that all of these tools, uh, you know, they are integrated with Zoho Analytics and we can collate all that data that we have from the res these respective apps into dashboards and pivots, right? And that has really helped us, you know, to create some beautiful dashboards uh, in terms of our revenue and uh, other sales forecasting. Right. So our entire revenue uh, dashboards are on CRM and we get a very clear picture of what our revenue flow is right now. So Centralytics uses different uh, dashboards and widgets prepared in Zoho Analytics for concluding day-to-day -day activities and up to the level of taking board level decisions. So we have different dashboards, different widgets, different metrics defined within the analytics. We are even using it to uh, measure performance of individual CSMs. We are using it to define new customer their uh, needs so we have uh, our own software that integrates with the zoho analytics to uh, track our cloud usage that's again a day-to-day -day activity for us and to target new customers we have their customer profiling we can define what kind of products they use everything is implemented within the analytics itself and also we set up our campaigns and marketing automations as well starting with marketing automation it has helped us immensely in making sure that we run our campaigns in a much more organized way and the leads are scored properly. So a lot of campaigns which are run for an identified set of audiences, whether it is our internal audience or a customer audience, internal or external newsletters, those Zoho campaign has been splendid in you know helping us run those. Our superstar sales team has now been able to tap into our leads more efficiently because we have been using Zoho Marketing Automation, uh, the entire lead scoring part over there, which helps us identify leads for various campaigns. So once we have run our campaign, we don't need to do anything else. Sales can come in, look over the leads they want, pick those up from there, and then start their processes from there. So Marketing Automation has been critical in aligning sales and marketing, at least from a lead or campaign lead standpoint. Whereas coming to Zoho Surveys then, Zoho Surveys has mostly been an internal tool for us now, wherein our talent team has been running multiple surveys inside the organization and getting valuable insights from them. Uh, our entire progressive portal or the Centralytics portal, the HRMS portal was customized in uh, PHP uh, language. So we had to write all of its interfaces in that specific language, the UI, the, the backend, the integration with the databases. Having created in place uh, after we chose Zoho One ecosystem, we then transferred everything to Zoho and that's how last mile details and the last mile codes were actually translated into a low code platform like Creator. So uh, all these business processes were actually very, very easily configurable. We have the UI in place. You just drag and drop utilities from the frame to your application. You write certain lines of dilute code, which is actually very simple to understand, learn and write. And then your application is ready. Zoho Creator has been a boon for us because, I mean, the customizability offered there helps us create multiple applications. Through those, we can offset a lot of our workload to marketing operations. It has freed up a lot of time for me and my teammates so that they can, you know, get more creative with the marketing processes and offset the repetitive tasks to the operations team. So we were a startup way back and all our projects were running pretty much on a spreadsheet, uh, Microsoft Excel. And from there we then migrated to Trello. Uh, over there we, we got a Kanban feature to just move around things here and there and you know have certain modifications done, editing done and attachments to a different, different cards. 
But in Trello, we felt a little sort of a limitation around automation and the configuration of blueprints, which was not available. So we need a bit more control on our projects which are running across. And that's how we thought of uh, figuring out the alternatives to Trello. Uh, we came across Asana, we came across uh, Jira, we came across Zoho projects and Zoho Sprints accordingly. Uh, we liked across across all the tools, we liked Zoho projects per se and because of its dilute capabilities, its integration to analytics, its integration to CRM so that the business folks also can see what kind of features are getting pushed across in the dev environment, in the staging environment and the production. Uh, after that, we uh, moved our HR teams. So people at Centlytics is our lifeline for our HR management. So we pretty much know our entire op HR operations from Zoho people. Uh, so we use the basic, you know, inbuilt modules such as attendance management, leave management and the onboarding as well uh, with some modifications that we have uh, made in the onboarding modules. Uh, we have created our own custom modules such as uh, asset, asset management and we run our entire asset inventory from Zoho people. Uh, and also we have created our reward and recognition system from Zoho people only. Uh, and in COVID era, the Zoho people has really helped us scale up as a company. Another thing which we want to do is around the transformation of our entire legal journey. So it's all uh, running on other tools like DocuSign, but if I integrate CRM and Zoho Sign together, the entire sales order uh, approval processes, creation processes can be very, very smoothly uh, imbibed and adopted in the company. As of the moment, all these DocuSigns or all these contract signing happens pretty much in a manual flavor, wherein uh, things like approvals runs around on, on the emails or on the WhatsApp or on the phone calls. But having these native systems built up with the integrations uh, together, I think that's gonna be much more better. And um, if I talk about some more transformation journeys, um, I see website uh, marketing which happens pretty much manually over LinkedIn. People sit in the night, sit in the afternoon hours to post on various social media platforms. Instead, why not use Zoho Social and have those automations done? So in a nutshell, we want finance, we want marketing, we want legal as the three other pillars to have very much imbibed in, in the Zoho ecosystem. Zoho One has become the skeleton of our company, right? It has helped us digitize the entire processes within the company. Uh, so we have done end-to-end -end automations with Zoho One. Uh, every sentence day to life lifecycle at least has, you know, four to five Zoho products that they use uh, from Zoho One suite. Uh, so I would say it's an integral part of uh, us, uh, you know, us, as we know what we are as a company. So Zoho One has helped us in that. So digital transformation was essentially needed because Again, 50, 70 people working without any processes, without any method is a pain. Uh, we had our entire HRMS, which was built in some scrappy tool, we had to move. So HRMS is in Zoho people, projects is in Zoho projects and creator application now. We have CRM, our business processes around Zoho CRM. Pretty much tying together all of it in Zoho One is what we have achieved. Um, Having this entire internal digital transformation story running has actually increased our efficiency up to about 30% more than which was there before. Uh, it's the engineering efficiency I'm talking about, the sales efficiency I'm talking about, the efficiency to take risks because we have analytics in place which talks about the revenue data, the collection data, and also talks about projections that, hey, this is what you're gonna land in in the next quarter. So it has actually given us uh, the right vitamins and minerals for us, com for, for the company uh, to run uh, very, very smoothly and essentially very, very uh, healthy is how I see. It's the operating system for my company to run across. It is more of a blessing to us to have Zoho One in our uh, company adopted and people are loving it. I mean, I don't have any sort of pushback that, hey, why are you using this product of Zoho? Why not some other product of any other vendor? Uh, the interface is being so very well adopted that Zoho One is actually more of a gift which we can say from Mr. Wimbo to our entire organization.